Greetings, unsettled souls. Sam DeGangie doing political commentary for the Media Speaks. Friends, you might know me from a number of places, maybe Blasting News. If you do, make sure you let me know, because I just recently got some new Blasting News stuff up. I cover the new Alice Cooper CD, the Accept CD. I also have some new bands that you're really, really going to want to check out here, if my intro music ever stops. Hey, there we go. Hey, at least it played this time. I mean, you can't ask for too much, I guess. All right, friends, you tune in every month for the biggest collection of dumb Ds ever. It's the only time you can find people in the world who are usually less cared about than I am. And that, friends, usually takes some doing. <laughs> uh, it has been some week. It, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, now my computer's trying to freeze up, which is even in its par for the course. I do want to mention, for those of you who may not know, that the entire show, The Correct Views, everything that I've put together, everything that you are about to hear, they are actually, all of it is funded by you. And you can help me out at The Correct Views at Hotmail.com by donating through PayPal. All right, guys, so check this out. What if I were to tell you that according to DNR, DNR has told their employees to wear masks during Zoom calls even if they are home alone. Let me repeat that. You may think I'm kidding. The but Department of Natural Resources, the DNR, has told employees working remotely from home that they have to wear a mask while on a Zoom call because... Apparently, they're worried that the coronavirus may spread through the webcams. They sent literally sent an email out to all employees reminding them that the governor had now mandated masks throughout the state when people leave home, but added, quote, also wear your mask even if you are home to participate in virtual meetings that involve being seen, such as on Zoom or other video conferencing platforms. I'm sorry that I have to keep pointing this out, but this isn't from the Babylon Bee or the Onion. It's from the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. I wouldn't blame. In other words, thank you, Mark Dice. In other words, you are supposed to feel everyone's pain. And even if you live by yourself. Oh, you need to join in the pain that the rest of the country feels and wear a mask alone in your own house. You know, when the the entire COVID-19 thing started, let me say, I, I, I was not one of the people who were against the initial lockdown. And I'm still not sorry that I felt that way. I think that it was very important to make sure that we did not override the hospitals which more, with more people than they could take in. It's fine. The time for that has come and gone. Plain and simple. The time for that has come and gone. We have therapeutics now. Hydroxychloroquine, which I know people who have taken it and they are just fine, so don't give me that lie. Hydroxychloroquine and zinc. We got remdesivir. If you try to type in, if you try to say remdesivir into a phone, half the time your phone makes it reindeer, by the way. Try it, it's fun. We have remdesivir. We know, everybody trickling in, hello, hello, hello. We know what the genetic structure of COVID-19 is. So the time for that kind of panic is over. But no, 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 no. The DNR, you heard that right, if you just tuned in, the DNR is telling people to wear a mask during a Zoom call if they are in their own house by themselves. And if you are doubting whether or not this COVID-19 debacle is being used for nefarious means far removed from anything that has to do with the basic health and well-being of the populace, then you are the kind of person who knows why you tune into a show called The Correct Views, because it's utter BS. There is nothing, nothing that will benefit you by wearing a mask in your own house alone. So clearly, this is about control. 
It's about control. And if you can't see that from here, then you are going to be one of the first people to be totally and thoroughly controlled. And maybe you'll get your own damn dunce cap. Listen to this, guys. Uh, BLM Emily. A-C-A-B. We'll get to that in a moment. What does BLM Emily, A-C-A-B, what does she put as her tweet? What, what, what could she have possibly said that would have landed her on the Dunce Cap of the Month award show? What happened in, they're talking about the, uh, the, the, the supposed uh, ins, insurrection. It was a riot. I was there. I filmed that it. it was a riot. What happened in D.C. last night was horrible. These terrorists broke into the Capitol and were being violent, not violent, violent, towards these poor police officers. Okay, first of all, she wrote violet instead of violent. V-I-O-L-E-T. So they're being purple towards the four police officers. On top of that, her name is BLM Emily ACB. Does anybody listening to this know what A-C-A-B stands for? Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. It stands for all cops are bad. So Emily, all cops are bad, that's her name, is upset about the terrorists, of which there weren't any, terrorists breaking into the Capitol, being violent towards the poor police officers. This is the kind of stupidity that is common within the Black Lives Matter movement, which is why anybody with an ounce of common sense does not support the Black Lives Matter movement because it's nothing to do with Black Lives Mattering and everything to do with ushering in a socialist agenda. Oh, come on, man. What happened in D.C. last night was horrible. These terrorists broke into the Capitol and were being violent towards these poor police officers. All cops are bastards. It's okay when we do it. Well, hey, at least they... All cops are bastards. Oh, okay, why? Well, ACAB stood. So that's who the, the violet is happening. The, the, all the violets that is happening to the police officers. Guys, uh, moving on. God, keep in mind, we're not even at the dumbest yet. We still have a couple to go. It continues to get stupider as we go. A New York Post. Probe finds Smith College student was not a victim of racism for eating while black. How many times do we hear that? There's racism, and the racism is extant. The racism is very, very extant, as a matter of fact. It is everywhere we look. The entire reason that white people are able to achieve things are because everything is built on systemic racism. Are lies built on systemic racism? Because that's a prudent question to ask here. A black student's allegations, they write, that she was targeted for eating while black at a private Massachusetts college were deemed unfounded, <clears throat> according to an investigation of the incident. Why am I not surprised? Umau Kanout, then a rising sophomore at Smith College, had claimed that all she did was be black when a janitor called security on her when he found her in a closed lounge in 2018. Closed. Not open, closed. So if you're white, you can eat in the closed place? Does that, no. Anybody? How about if you're Korean? Can you, can you eat there if it's closed if you're Korean? No. Is it, is it hateful to throw a white person out for eating there? No. Okay, if it's closed, I mean, and I, wait, wait, hold on, is it, is it racist against the Korean if we make the Korean leave a lounge that's closed? No? Oh, so that, that is just if they are black. Gotcha. Okay, so uh, according to this, a 35-page, uh, and there's some wasted paper, and then global warming, 35-page investigation carried out by an outside law firm found no, that would be zero, evidence of discrimination according to the New York Times. Hardly a uh, left-leaning paper. The findings were issued in October 2018, but were not widely reported. Yeah, because she lied. And it didn't fit their agenda. It didn't uh, fit the white people a bad agenda, so they didn't report on it. That's to be expected. The incident began when Knaut went inside a cafeteria in a dormitory that was reserved for a summer camp program for young children, the outlet reported. 
since students were not, that means not allowed for those of you who like hip hop. Some, since students were not supposed to be in the area, a cafeteria worker, Jackie Blair, reminded her of that fact, but then decided to drop the issue the outlet reported. The janitor, who was in her 60s and had poor vision, then noticed in the distance eating a closed, e someone eating in a closed off lounge area of the dorm. School guidance counselors called the employees not to confront strangers on their own, so the janitor notified security about the person who turned out to be Canout. In other words, the janitor was not allowed to confront a stranger in the building. He needed to alert security. It had nothing to do with skin tone. It had nothing to do with this moronic dolt eating. Okay, I'm amazed she knows how to chew and file a complaint at the same time. She probably did them at different times because I don't think she has the brain power to accomplish both. I didn't approach her or anything, but he seems out of place, he reportedly said. The officer then drove over and engaged in a polite conversation with the student who recorded the encounter on video and later posted it to Facebook. It's outrageous that some people question my being a smith and my existence alone as a woman of color. Well, there is nothing in the school's program which says that a woman of color cannot go there. As a matter of fact, you can be a woman of color, you can be black, you can be white, you can be anything you want, and you're going to be treated just as fairly as everybody else if you're smart enough not to sit your stupid ass down in the area that's closed! I am so tired of people calling racism, racism. Oh, did you see that? It's racism. There isn't any racism. What there is is you looking for more victimhood. That's what there is. And if you doubt that, that is fine. I am right. You are wrong. And it is that unbelievably simple. I, I don't know what to say, friends. Everywhere we go, we have this coming up, where if, if someone doesn't agree with me on something, well, then it's either because I'm white, or when they find out that my dad was Latino, oh, well, then that's the case. Then you must be being held down because of that. Well, a minute ago, you were cussing at me. We are not living in a racist nation. America is a post-racial society for 99% of the people who live here, and that is a correct view. If you don't like it, too bad for you. Friends, I got a couple left here. How about this? Tucker Carlson starts talking here about the green new energy. And now, for those of you who don't know, Texas and many other places, instead of relying on coal and gas, Instead of relying on things which cause no, we have always been reliable. You keep your house warm no matter what. They bought into another lie. It's similar to the lie of, uh, of, of, of systemic racism. It's the lie of climate change. The lie that the actions of man are changing the climate which isn't happening, and it's provable. The founder of the Weather Channel has proved it. Lord Moncton has proved it. There were 500 scientists who signed a letter saying that there was not a global emergency. These were United Nations scientists from all over the world. They were not tied into big business in the U.S., and they have all said and proven beyond any shadow of a doubt that man is not warming the planet. However, that truth doesn't just generate money. So if you want money to be generated, what you need is some lie to get everybody behind. So they get into the again, provable lie of man-made climate change. It's not my opinion. Man is not warming the planet. This is fact beyond what I said. It's not factual because I said it. I'm saying it because it's factual. There's a difference there. So once you've understood that, then you're able to see clearly what is going on here. So they put these stupid windmills in, and they say that man is warming the planet. Well, now the global warming has sent winter temperatures to Texas. So now they're saying, well, you know, climate change isn't an exact science. Sometimes things get colder. So you mean kind of like when we found dinosaur bones in the Arctic, and we know that at one time it was warmer, and then it froze? Let me ask you, was man warming the planet when that happened? Was man in his cave? He'd leave his cave and get in his car? Was he, was he driving around? Exactly how did that work? 
Well, nobody can answer those questions. None of them can. But what they can do is give you some stupidity like this. Let's see what Tucker says. alternative energy seems to have had a remarkable effect on the climate as intended. Last night, parts of Texas got to temperature that we see in Alaska. In fact, they were the same as they were in Alaska. So global warming is no longer a pressing concern in Houston. We've solved that problem. The bad news is... <laughs> I love it. Now, let me ask you this. Well, let's get to this part. They don't have electricity. So when yeah, that's the bad news. They don't have electricity. So you would think that Getting rid of natural gas, coal, and oil, which have always served as well, getting rid of that for a lie, a provable lie, getting rid of that for a lie, and then allowing that lie to put up windmills, and then the windmills freeze and people die, you would think that that would be the dumps cap of the month award winner, but no, we have one that is dumber. The, 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 let me warn you, before I even get into this, this is the kind of stupidity to which it's very hard to even imagine anything passing it. This is probably going to end up winning the Golden Dumdy next January when it comes time to pick the, the, the stupidest story of the year. Okay, are you ready for it? The Texas Tribune. I think it's their first time on the show. Nearly 12 million Texans now face water disruptions. The state needs residents to stop dripping taps and to boil their water. I missed the story. I'll get to it at the end. I missed the story. It didn't win, but I'll get to it at the end. Boil their water. Now, let me ask you something. If you don't have any electricity... If the wood is buried under the snow and the ice, so you can't burn it, how are you going to boil water? Well, you see, we, we put these windmills up because we were worried about the global warming, which we can prove wasn't happening. <laughs> but we put these windmills up and now they froze and <laughs> you don't have any heat. But make sure you boil your water because you won't get sick. Because <laughs> the reason it's all happening is because we didn't use coal and oil. <sighs> How do you boil water? I don't, at a Wednesday press conference, TCEQ, Executive Director Toby Baker said water and quality issues were related to the lack of electricity. No shit! Frozen and broken water mains and people dripping faucets so much that it was causing lower water pressure. Baker said that they were testing all of the water and that it would soon be safe to lift the boiling water demands. But currently, all people are told to boil their water with no means of generating heat. So here's the notes cap that they're getting. And again, I'm going to get to the story I skipped. I messed up. Don'ts. Let me make sure that everybody can see on both streams. Don'ts. Okay. Scented, too. Scented markers. All right. First of all, we have, you know, the common sense. You know that I always put something with a no smoking sign. Here we have, where is he? A penguin. And he is saying, why not ask me to boil water, too? And then, of course, now this is a great drawing. There's the Titanic smacking into an iceberg. And there's people floating in the water. And one of them is saying, we will be fine. We will not freeze to death if we boil the water. And that leads me to the actual award itself, which says... The Dunce Capital. Well, let, let, let me make sure I show my listeners on HDEF. If you are on a low def, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to go ahead and go to the youtube.com slash the correct views to see it. And it says, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. It is hard to pinpoint what is dumber, that you bought into the lie of man-made climate change instead of following the science, 
instead choosing green windmills over trusted energy production means, or that you told residents with no means to generate warmth to boil water. Regardless of which folly is greater, you at the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality win the Dunce Cap of the Month Award! And guess what, friends? It costs money to send out the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. So if you'd like to help me do that, you can do it at the correct views of hotmail.com through PayPal. I am imploring you to do so because money has been horrible. They have shut down my Facebook page and cost me a major stream of income. You guys saw me covering D.C. twice. You guys saw me in uh, Harrisburg for the recount. You guys saw me... Uh, how many Trump trains? All of that's paid for by donations. All right, guys, the story I forgot. It is definitely worthy of mention. That it was recently said in uh, by the... Uh, I think it was the um, Department of Energy that in order to help global warming, during the day... Everyone should set their heat no higher than 65, and at night, it should be 58. 58? What the hell do I look like, a polar bear? 58 degrees is miserable, particularly when you're in this climate. Because the inside, the, the barometric pressure, even if it's warm inside, it's still a bit of a chill because of the, again, the difference in pressure. So what you've got here, let me explain what this is going to do. In two weeks from now, about a week, this was said a week ago. So about a week from now, here's what you're going to see. You're going to see people who wait, get you worried about global warming. You're going to see these idiots, these mindless, boneheaded idiots who have set their houses at 58 degrees at night. This is going to trigger an immune response from their respiratory system. And they're going to have runny noses. They're definitely going to have sore throats. They may even have a fever, which, oh, it sounds a lot like the Rona. Oh, the Rona, the Rona. Oh, my God, it sounds like the Rona. I got the Rona. So they're going to go to the hospital, and they're going to demand to get things shoved up their nose or put in their ass if they happen to be in China. And what's going to happen? They're not going to have corona. I thought I had the Rona. No, you got a cold by putting your air at 58 degrees in the winter. This right here, friends, this right here is why I honestly believe that our country is already over. I honestly believe it. Um, we live in a country where wives don't care about their husbands. Just move on and find somebody new. Most of the time, they don't even go to a one-hour marriage counseling appointment. Kids, more and more and more, are being grown up into school systems that are teaching them lies about communism, lies about our country, misrepresentations about race and police and a myriad of other things. We're taxed everywhere we go. We're told when we can, when we can do anything. And we have a, an entire country that is too dumbed down for that to be known. So if you care about this kind of thing like I do, share this video. Okay, a lot of this is funny, but expose the stupidity. I can make the videos, friends. I can make good videos like this one, but I can't share them. Only you can get them shared in the kinds of numbers, I should say, that needs to happen. Thank you for listening, friends. Good night. God bless.